To write the formula for iron 2 phosphate, we go to the periodic table and we look up iron. That has an element symbol of Fe. And phosphate, that's not on the periodic table. It ends in ATE, so it's a polyatomic ion. And you either need to memorize this or look it up on a table of common polyatomic ions. Either way, phosphate is PO4, 3 minus. Iron, that's a metal. And then phosphate, that's made up of a group of nonmetals. When we have a metal and nonmetals, we need to take into account these ionic charges here when we write the formula for iron 2 phosphate. What's nice is iron, Fe, it's a transition metal. So they tell us right in the name, this 2, that Roman numeral tells us the charge is 2 plus. Then we know the phosphate has a 3 minus ionic charge. These need to add up to zero, give us a net charge of zero, and right now they don't. So we can use something called the crisscross method to make that happen. We can move the three here and the two over here. We'll get rid of these. And then we need to put parentheses around this phosphate here because it's a polyatomic ion and we have two of them. So we put parentheses around the phosphate and that's the formula for iron two phosphate. Let's check our work though. We said iron because of this Roman numeral was two plus and the phosphate was three minus. So we have two of these phosphates, each one's three minus, two times three minus is six minus, three of the irons, three times the two plus, six plus. These add up to zero, give us a net charge of zero. We're done. This is the correct formula for iron two phosphate. Let's clean it up one more time. And there you have it, iron two phosphate, Fe3PO4 two. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.